So my jewelry is from Ana Luisa. I always wear this bracelet and this ring. I swear I only take it off to like shower and sleep. That's about it. And I absolutely love them. So I'm doing an Ana Luisa giveaway for Mother's Day. They are one of my favorite jewelry companies. First of all, they're a fully carbon neutral company. That means they get rid of 100% of their carbon emissions. They also sell luxury items starting at $39. And let me tell you, they last. Like I said, I wear this bracelet and ring pretty much every day. I've had them for about a year now and they're still holding up, not changing colors, not making my fingers any funky colors. They are luxury jewelry items. They are having a Mother's Day sale, so I decided to do a Mother's Day giveaway. I got two items here that I thought would be perfect for any mama, so whether it is you, mama that would like to join my giveaway or you would like to enter to win these to give to your mommy. So for my Mother's Day giveaway, I'll be giving these two jewelry items away or feel free to just click the link in the description and my code in order to get 15% off your Mother's Day purchase. So the first item you will get the mama necklace. This is originally $55 but 15% off. The next item is these adorable sun and moon earrings. Those are originally 75, but you'll get them for 15% off for 63, unless you win my giveaway, where you'll win both of these, I'll ship them to you for free. Okay, so to enter my giveaway, you're going to leave a comment down below, tell me your favorite memory about your mother, or just someone who played a motherly role in your life, or if you yourself are a mama, tell me one of your favorite memories of just being a mom, whether it's funny, inspirational, whatever you would like to share. Once you comment down below, I will add your name to the list, and I'll be announcing the winner over on my Instagram page, Teach Me Something Good. If you don't have an Instagram, go ahead and email me, teach me something good three at gmail.com. That way I can get a hold of you. And trust me, I will try to do everything in my power to get a hold of you. <laughs> so I'll be announcing the winner Wednesday, May 5th. Stay tuned and let's get back to the video. Good morning guys. Okay, so I thought I'd give you the rundown here because I'm running late and I'm not gonna be able to do it once we get inside. So today, my face looks weird. Does my face look weird you guys? I feel like my face looks really weird. Um, today is a Tuesday and that means I'm with my group A kids and I have another one of those observations with the people where if you follow me on Instagram and you follow my stories, you know there's like this group that comes in that has to observe and it always stresses me out. Um, I had a full-on breakdown last time. Didn't have a breakdown this time, so doing good. Um, I think we're actually just going to co-teach or like plan or something like that because I just straight up told her, like, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, you could tell me what you want me to like regurgitate back to my kids and we can pretend like this is like serious and important, but I don't know what you're doing. And so she's like, let's just build co-plan together. So it's like, whatever sis. So that's what I'll be doing first thing in the morning. And then we're jumping into our reading and whatnot. There's also parent teacher conferences this week for uh, kiddos that have deficiencies, which is like everyone this year. So those are the big things that are going on. So our adverbs are going to tell how an adverb describes an action of verb. It even has the word verb in it, okay? Adverbs can tell the place, time, or the manner that an action takes place. Adverbs answer the questions where, when, and how. Can you please stop making the noises? Most adverbs that tell how uh, the action takes place ends in L-Y. So L-Y is kind of like our little clue. Mom, uh, walk, 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 walk,
multi-interrogative questions. See how easy it is to skip over just one of the questions? Right, we get so focused on the second one. Okay, so let's go ahead and we are in. Let's read this first paragraph together and then we will break it up. Okay, so finger under jury. Ready, go. Not joking around, it's really serious. Um, on the previous page, we have that word essential. What does essential mean? If something is essential, it is. Is it eh? Not that big of a deal. We can kind of get that done later. Oh. Or that needs to be done. So that's, that's a really, really that's a really important part of the mission. Like it's a really important it should be Yeah. Done. Well, do you think these astronauts they train? Do you think their training is, okay, we'll train you a little bit and then we'll send you out in space? Or do you think that training is essential to them? That is nine months. Nine months. You need to train. Yes, nine it's nine necessary. It's almost a whole year. It is essential. It is so necessary. They need that training before they can go out in space to complete a mission. Well, the first mission is Hey guys, what's up? Uh, sorry I forgot my tripod today, so you're a little closer to my face than usual. <laughs> so the kids are at recess. We just got done reading our story, going over vocabulary and grammar adverbs for the day, which I, I'm i the worst at grammar, guys. You have no idea. Um, I had that meeting with our grammar person, and she was the one who helped me walk through the single interrogatives and then leading to a multi-interrogative. We've been learning this questioning thing for like a couple months now, and my brain just like fries every time. Like during every meeting, I end up having like a mental breakdown of some sort, and every time she comes to my class, it's pretty much the same. But today is finally chilling. It was good just to talk one-on-one -on -one about this stuff and walk through like what I feel actually relates to me and like my kiddos and what would be beneficial and I decided the multi-step interrogative questions would be way more beneficial than the other types there's more types and but third grade really there's so many times that we ask kids multi-step questions and they only answer one piece so it was fun to kind of make it a game so they can even recognize oh yeah I tend to leave out one part of the question um yeah so now we're going to go into math and then me and the other third grade teacher, um, that other teacher has had subs all year and the sub can only stay for 30 days at a time. So it's been a roller coaster, but I really like this one. He's awesome. We decided we're going to do an art competition. His class wanted to do art. Mine mentioned art competition just simultaneously. So we decided we're going to each do an art hub and then we'll get to go out and show each other each other's arts and we can vote to see whose was better. <laughs> So yeah, and then online we're done at 1.30, so we're really only in class for a little over an hour. Uh, that makes it stressful, but at the same time, I'm just so freaking glad to not have to be online on Zoom. Granted, I'm doing parent-teacher conferences on Zoom, which is explaining a lot, <laughs> but still better than trying to online teach on Zoom. We've been doing it all year, but I'm so over it, so over it. Okay, I'm going to continue to drink my Rockstar, which I surprisingly haven't 
drink too much of. My mood has just picked up. It's really hard to open this one handed. <clears throat> got it, okay. Um, Nice. Oh, cool. Oh, you use. Are those crowns? Oh, I call this Super Saiyan Blue. Color. Nice. Oh, hey, it's scary, SpongeBob. Let me see yours. Oh, I like it. It's so cute. Okay, so the picture art competition thing went super well. The kids had a blast, so we're definitely going to do that with our Group B kids on Friday. Now I'm going to eat my lunch. I need to fix my chapter six test because we tried to take it in class today and there was just some issues, of course. So I'm gonna fix those during my lunch that way. During class, my group B and D kids can take that test because we're stuck with a really awkward amount of time but this test needs to get taken. So I think that's what we're gonna do today and then I have parent conferences, which yesterday I did not have a good turnout like at all. But I had my translator call all the parents that I didn't hear from for today. So luckily it was like, hey, your conference is tomorrow at this time, be there, da da da. They've had two weeks to where if they need to reschedule or doesn't work for them or whatever, that they could let me know. And yet they were all, my mom can't come today. My mom's at work. Yeah, I know that's why you've had two weeks to figure it out. So yeah. I will keep chat as just to me. So. <laughs> Babe, I love you, but I can't understand anything that you're saying. Okay, if you need me to read a question, type it to me in the chat. This is a 20 question test. If you finish this test in less than 20 minutes, you're gonna retake it because there's no way that you've answered every question in less than one minute. I'm telling you right now, we're gonna do this test all the way at least till break, okay? And then once everyone's done with the test, I have a really fun art hub that we're going to do. When you're, li can you? When you are done with your test, you are going to go and finish your homework that you haven't finished because I don't have very many of you at all that did last night's homework. So go to modules and homework to do that. Okay, so you're doing homework, Mayon to reach your AR goal. And then if you've done both of those, you've reached your AR goal and you did all your homework, then message me and I'll send you something specifically to do. We are not doing the art hub until everyone all together is ready. What's your question? Um, what happens if we finish it over in 20, min 20 minutes, but it, we don't 
I will applaud you and you will not have to retake it. Okay, I'm talking about the people who rush through it and get like three right. Okay, I don't care if you spend, if you really, really take your time and this math just isn't your thing and we just don't do well on it, that's okay. Okay, we're not gonna be great at everything in life. Okay, math isn't my strong suit either. My thing though is there's a difference between rushing through something and just writing random answers, clicking random things just to get it done versus actually sitting down and trying to solve these problems. So you are going to need your whiteboard or a piece of paper and pencil. I don't care if you only get one right in this entire thing, but I, it's really hard to believe that you tried if you finished this test in like 10 minutes, okay? All right, I got about five of you listening to me. Go for it. Number one through three, where you're just gonna have to click true or false for these basic division problems when we're dividing by one or zero. When you get to number five, you're going to have your first word problem. If I call your name, I need you to get it on this test. Please get on the chapter six test. Miss Blair's. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll read it to you. I can't tell you what to do. Number five. Elizabeth has 12 horses on her farm. She puts an equal number of horses in each of the three pens. How many horses are in each pen? Stop checking yourselves out and get to work, please. Okay, conferences are done for today. I've had to hunt all of them down and reschedule a couple and then just force them to talk on the phone. Oh my gosh, I haven't read this book since I was in like third or fourth grade. Oh, goosebumps, you guys remember that? Okay, sorry. Yeah, oh, thank the Lord for translators. Man, I wish I need to learn how to speak Spanish. I need to, this is unacceptable. And I conferences are done for today. Tomorrow I get to work from home. I'll be online with my kids from 8 to 8.30 and then conferences from there. We shall see. But yeah, thank you for joining me. Another Watch Me Teach. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Final reminder to enter my giveaway or click the Anna Luisa link down below to get 15% off your Mother's Day order. Don't forget to use code TaylorMD. And happy shopping.